Andrew Nimbard heaves one from way downtown to beat the shot clock and buries it. Indianapolis, Andrew Nimbard made a 31-foot, tie-breaking three-pointer with 16 seconds left, Tyrese Halliburton scored 35 points, and the Indiana Pacers rallied in the fourth quarter to beat the banged-up and shorthanded New York Knicks 111-106 to on Friday night in Game 3 of the Eastern Conference semifinals. The Knicks still lead the best-of-seven series 2-1 with Game 4 set for Sunday in Indianapolis. New York led by 9 with 9.45 remaining and was in position to take a commanding 3-0 lead, but with Jalen Brunson slowed by a right foot injury, the Knicks couldn't hold on. Nimbard scored only five points, all in the final minute, while Halliburton finished with his second straight playoff career high. Pascal Siakam added 26 points and 7 rebounds, while Miles Turner had 21 points and 10 rebounds. Dante DiVincenzo led the Knicks with 35 points, going 7 of 11 on three-pointers. Brunson had 26 points and 6 rebounds, including a tying three with 42 seconds left, but he barely hit the rim on another three-point try with 13 seconds to go. Alec Burks, who came in having played a single minute in the postseason, scored 14 points in 21 minutes for the Knicks, who played without starting forward OG Anunoby. It's considered unlikely that Anunoby will play in Sunday's Game 4, as well. Sources told ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski on Thursday. Anunoby was evaluated before the team left for Indiana on Thursday, and that assessment was to continue Thursday night. The second round of the 2024 NBA playoffs continued on Friday night as the New York Knicks visited the Indiana Pacers for Game 3 of their second round series at the Gamebridge Fieldhouse. The Knicks entered having won the first two games of the series, but left the night having lost, 111-106. to It was a crazy scoring night for Dante DiVincenzo, who dropped 35, including 7 of 11 from three-point land, but it simply wasn't enough. Indiana took the lead on an Andrew Nimbard step-back three-pointer and New York had no answer on the other end. Tyrese Halliburton led the Pacers with 35 points to help Indiana secure its first win. CBS Sports provided live updates, analysis, and highlights throughout the game. Here are some key takeaways from the game. This was not Nimbard's best night. He was taken off the Jalen Brunson assignment on the defensive end and could not get his own offense going. As the final seconds of the fourth quarter arrived, he was one of seven from the field and had the same amount of points as rebounds, too. When the ball found him at the end of the shot clock with the score tied at 106 to 106 and 20 seconds remaining, however, he had no time to think about his poor performance. All he could do was get a shot off as quickly as possible, and so he stepped back to create some space and flung the ball to the rim from 30 feet. Cash. The shot ended up being the game winner as the Pacers hung on for a crucial win to trim the series' deficit to 2-1. On the Pacers' first defensive possession of Game 3, Aaron Nesmith picked up Jalen Brunson instead of Nimbard. 20 seconds later, after chasing him around multiple screens, he forced the Knicks' star into a tough step-back three-pointer that did not go down. Thus began the most frustrating night of the series for Brunson, who finished with 26 points, but needed as many shots to get there. He shot 10 of 26 from the field, which was his least efficient outing since Game 2 of the first round, and turned the ball over five times. Nesmith was extremely physical with Brunson, but everyone has taken that approach in the playoffs. The big difference with this matchup is that Nesmith is 6 foot, 6 with a 6 foot, 10 wingspan, and that length was very difficult for Brunson to deal with. It will be interesting to see if the Pacers keep Nesmith on Brunson the rest of the series, and if so, how Brunson adjusts. With OG and Nunaby joining Julius Randle, Boyan Bogdanovich, and Mitchell Robinson on the injured list for Game 3, the Knicks needed someone to step up and provide some offense to supplement Brunson. DiVincenzo did just that. The sixth-year guard was unconscious in this game, hitting three-pointer after three-pointer on route to a playoff career-high 35 points. This was just the eighth time all season that DiVincenzo has scored 30 points, in the fourth highest scoring game of his career. His seven threes also tied a Knicks franchise playoff record. DiVincenzo has been excellent in the playoffs, but this was his best full performance. If the Knicks don't end up winning this series, they're going to look back on wasting the Dante DiVincenzo game with regret. What? A game. The Pacers defend home court and get back in the series with a thrilling five-point win in game three.
After blowing an early double-digit lead, the Pacers found themselves down by nine in the fourth quarter, but surged back for a last-second win thanks to Andrew Nimbard's game-winning three-pointer. Tyrese Halliburton poured in 35 points to set a new playoff career high and added four rebounds and seven assists. He got plenty of help from Miles Turner and Pascal Siakam, who combined for 47 points and 17 rebounds. Aaron Nesmith added 10 points, but he did his best work on the defensive end, where he helped slow down Jalen Brunson. Dante DiVincenzo had the best game of his postseason career, as he made seven threes on route to 35 points. Brunson finished with 26 points, but shot just 10 of 26 from the field. It was an impressive effort from the Knicks to take the game down to the wire given their injuries, but this time they came up short. After Jalen Brunson had tied the time with a three-pointer, Andrew Nimbard put the Pacers right back in front in the closing seconds with an outrageous shot of his own. As the shot clock was running down, Nimbard had no choice but to hoist a prayer, and he caught all net from way behind the line. A few minutes ago, Tyrese Halliburton picked off a pass and went the other way for a layup, but tweaked his ankle in the process. It wasn't obvious in the moment, and he's remained in the game, but he is now limping around during dead balls. This is something to keep an eye on the rest of the way, and perhaps ahead of game four as well what a turnaround from the Knicks, who went down by double digits early in the third, but surged in front at the end of the frame. Dante DiVincenzo has been incredible and has a playoff career high 32 points, while Jalen Brunson is up to 16 points and 9 assists. The Pacers crowd is extremely restless, and it will be fascinating to see how this young team responds to this situation. Dante DiVincenzo has not slowed down. He just hit his sixth three-pointer of the game, then converted an and one in transition and is up to a playoff career-high 32 points. This is just an incredible performance from DiVincenzo on the road for the shorthanded Knicks. It's felt like the Pacers have been in full control all game long, but they enter the breakup just five. Time and again, the Knicks have come up with timely baskets to prevent the Pacers from pulling away.